games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we team hey up. Hey guys, welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to a QPR match day vlog. It feels ages since I've said that. That's because obviously it has been ages. League football is something we haven't been able to go to in a long time, and now finally for the first time in quite a while, we're able to. Now today's game uh, is a pre-season friendly between QPR and Manchester United. Uh, there's a couple of things that could be potentially interesting about this game, uh, even though it's a pre-season friendly. Now both teams obviously making signings, obviously we've signed a lot of the players that we had back from last season. The only person at the time recording this we haven't confirmed the purchase of is Stefan Johansson. There's a rumour of £600,000 thrown about that we might be potentially selling him for that. And I have a weird feeling, a couple of things that have sort of been being said on Twitter and stuff, that he might get announced at the game today. Now that's not confirmed, and by the time this goes out, it might be true, it might not be true, but we'll find out in the video if that does happen at the game. But the main thing with today for me is going back. I'm very lucky, I'm very happy, I'm very excited to be able to go to the game. I'm going with my dad, I'm going with my nephew Dan, that some of you may know from some of the older videos and stuff, and our good friend Jack, uh, the four of us are going to the game together. One thing that might be kind of different in this vlog to ones we used to do, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show as much of the game in future, just purely because of, uh, there were a couple of times I got in a little bit of trouble for showing the game when uh, I wasn't really meant to. And that was like the FA and stuff, that was nothing to do with QPR, but basically I was uploading my vlogs quicker than the official highlights were going out, and apparently I'm not allowed to do that. And then they had a go at me just for filming the game anyway. So it might be that I don't show much of the game, you might get a couple of reactions and stuff, uh, and it might mainly kind of be going there, being there, and then thoughts after the game, that kind of stuff. That might be the kind of thing we do. But it's the first time I've done something like this in a while, so I'm gonna shut up, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next couple of shots. They're probably gonna beat to music. I haven't done this in a while, so we're gonna make it up as we go along. Regardless, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go.
Rosei. That was a, uh, that was unexpected, wasn't it? I have to say, obviously it's a pre-season. We have to address that first, and we also have to address. I have just pretty much lost my voice at a pre-season match. Yes, but I have to say, to a man today, I don't think there's a single player I could single out and say they were below average or they were below par or they didn't perform that well. Genuinely, thoroughly impressed with the entire team. For United fans who are maybe watching this, uh, I'd say take the result and the game with a little bit of a pinch of salt because obviously not too much of your main team sort of starting, obviously a lot of rotation, a lot of youngsters, and there were still a few positives. I think Lingard looked fantastic, so if you guys do hold on to Lingard, he really did bring that game alive when he was on the ball. In that first 45 minutes, he got the ball, was knocking it about nicely, and uh, I have to say he, again, had good moments. I have to say, the young lad Elanga, I think that's how you say his name, who came on, uh, I was actually quite impressed with him. I thought he made some good movement. I thought he did really, really well with the time he was on the pitch. And honestly, I'd be surprised if he wasn't either loaned out and given a real season to actually play somewhere, or if he was maybe brought onto the bench over Dan James. I would say if they're genuinely going to be hell-bent at keeping James ahead of Elanga, then Elanga should go out and loan somewhere. Because I think, honestly, he, he seemed pretty good. I, I like the way he moved. His goal was very nice as well. Uh, and he genuinely, while on the pitch, impressed me. But on to QPR players, Uda Baggio, mate. Absolute blinder of a goal. Very impressed as well. He kept Dan James pretty darn quiet on that right-hand side. And as I've always said, I'm not the biggest fan of James, but he is very quick, and he's very good at getting it down that line very quickly. It's the end product that's the issue for him. But Uda Baggio literally kept him to very few chances on the ball. Didn't have much to offer because Uda Baggio was so good, and that strike was a beauty. Now, I'm aware that I missed the goal, I missed a few of the goals. I was a bit celebrating, I was having fun. I was having a laugh, I was chilling and chatting, and it was just a lot of fun. So I, I'm sorry that I missed a couple of the goals, especially the best two, because Dykes' goal, his second goal, was also a beauty. Beautiful back heel from Willock into Dykes, lovely bit of touch, and then just played it into that bottom corner. As I said, as I said, it's a pre-season. United weren't playing with their strongest 11, but we've gone into a game against a team that finished second, I believe, last season in the Prem and we beat them 4-2. It's still impressive, you know, even if they're youth prospects, they're youth players, whatever, we've still managed to go out there and still beat them. And in the second half, we played a complete changed sort of side. It, none of the real sort of first team players were playing consistently. Dykes came on, obviously, who would normally be in the first team. A few players maybe out of position. Duke McKenna came on at CDM and Batach, they were fantastic. When McCallum came on and obviously we brought on Adoma as our fullbacks, they sort of played a lot more attacking than obviously Wallace and Udabagio would have done. So they were a lot more sort of forward minded. Although Udabagio got forward and scored, Wallace got forward and got an assist for Dykes first. So you could argue they both got forward, but they're definitely more attacking minded fullbacks. Obviously, Ozzy came on. King. Played at centre back. We had Dunn and Masterson in. Masterson, a player who's never really sort of clicked with us particularly. Had a season out on loan last season, a couple of injuries and stuff. But both looked relatively comfortable and confident as well. Walsh made a couple of distribution errors, but made up for them with some fantastic saves. I have to say, very, very optimistic with Dieng, who I absolutely love and would be our number one next season, in my opinion, anyway. But if we had Walsh in behind for cup games and stuff, and if we can keep hold of him and keep him developing, we have a great a great number of keepers on our hand. But that is going to be the end of this vlog. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I've not done a vlog in a long time and I am literally filming them on my phone. So 
you know, it's not going to be the best quality. It's not going to be up there with the top, top match day vloggers, but I'm doing my best. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, then please do leave a like on this video. Again, massive love. I spoke to a couple of United fans um, that I don't know if they watch the channel or whatever, but they were really sound, really chill. Honestly, nothing but sound guys. Met a couple of uh, the subs as well who came in. So thank you to you guys who came and said hello. Uh, but all the love, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. But for now, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, wash your hands what? in a bit. Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.